Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be sharing what I eat in a day while breastfeeding. So for breakfast, I am having oatmeal like usual. I always have two packets of the Quaker's Lower Sugar Oatmeal. This is in maple brown sugar. It is my favorite by far. I am just having the Quaker's because I do have three kids and so this is just more convenient for me rather than making it from scratch. But anyway, I also love to top it with some fruit. So I'm just putting some strawberries on mine today, but I also really love raspberries on it as well. And then you guys did see that I had Starbucks while I was getting ready. That is because this was filmed on a Saturday and my husband actually surprised me with coffee in bed. So I was just having my Starbucks and my oatmeal this morning. Alright, lunchtime. I'm gonna be making breakfast for lunch today. I usually will have leftovers if I have any in the fridge, but today I did not, so I'm gonna be making breakfast for lunch. It's just so easy and it's delicious. So I'm gonna be having avocado toast and I love to have some chicken sausage on the side as well. I pick it up at Costco. If you guys have never tried it, I highly suggest, but I am also gonna be frying an egg. I love fried egg on my avocado toast. It just allows me to get a little bit more protein into my diet and all I add on to my egg is just a little bit of pepper. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. So for my avocado toast, I prefer sourdough bread, but any bread will work, honestly. And then I also have these little smashed avocado cups that I grab at Costco. They do have some sea salt in them, so I never add salt to my eggs or anything when I have these cups. If I were to do regular avocado, then I would probably add a little bit of salt, but I'm also just adding a touch of feta on top. Again, I just love to get extra protein in my diet where I can, so love the feta, and it also just tastes really good and then the fried egg on top show me where the ending goes honest honestly don't i should be the last to know all of you postpartum breastfeeding mamas can probably understand why I'm having my second coffee of the day. So I will usually have my second coffee around 1 or 2 p.m. just for like the afternoon boost. And I just do some cold brew. I've been trying out this cold brew and it's actually super good. It's one of my new favorites. And then I'm also adding in some Natural Bliss Almond Milk Vanilla Creamer. I'm going to be completely honest, I do not like this flavor. It actually makes me nauseous from how sweet it is. It tastes like cotton candy and I don't know, it's just, it's not my vibe. But I usually have the Natural Bliss Coconut Milk Sweet Cream Creamer and that's actually my favorite. To get back the life I used to know For dinner, we are having a salmon Caesar salad. I know it kind of sounds weird, but once it's all together, it's actually really, really yummy. So I'm just chopping up some romaine lettuce. That's my preferred lettuce, but you can use iceberg or mixed greens, whatever you prefer, but this is just what I like the best. I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the end Honest, honestly don't 
For the salmon, I'm just adding a little bit of avocado oil to my pan. That's my preferred oil for like cooking. And then I also just get the pre-cut and skinned fillets from Costco. I really feel like this sounds like a Costco sponsored video, but I promise it's not. I just really love Costco. And then um, I'm adding some salt and pepper to both sides of the fillets. If you guys are breastfeeding, salmon is actually really, really good for milk production. Um, so I try to have salmon about twice a week if I can. And then I'm also going to be chopping some of these Caesar seasoned croutons just a little bit smaller. For this dish, I just prefer them to be in like tiny bite-sized pieces. <music> For the salad, I like to put some very finely shredded Parmesan cheese on top and then I'm also just adding those croutons that I cut up and then I will be putting some Caesar dressing on this. To make this a little bit healthier, I'm actually going to be using the Caesar dressing from Bolt House Farms. It's a Greek yogurt dressing, so it's um, 50 calories per two tablespoons and it's a lot less calories than regular Caesar dressing and it really tastes the same. So adding that and then I will top it with my cooked salmon filet. <music> With my dinner, I am going to be having some liquid IV. My personal favorite is the lemon lime flavor. I've been using this for about a month and a half now, I believe, and it actually has helped my milk supply. So I told you guys I would let you know how I liked it, and I definitely have been liking it. I did find that it works better for me personally if I drink it in the evening. I'm not sure why. Maybe it just keeps my body hydrated in the middle of the night, but... I just wanted to let you guys know that. And then um, for dessert, I am going to be having a Yasso bar. This is a Greek yogurt bar in mint chocolate chip. It's 100 calories, 5 grams of protein, and it is the best summer treat. <music> All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.